Hi everyone, this is Muthi. Welcome to QA Automation Classes. So, in the last class, uh, we have seen the uh, scenarios, right? Uh, so, we have seen the different things like uh, how to uh, put your common steps into the background, right? And in today's uh, class, we are going to look into the uh, Cucumber Runner, right? So, we used to execute our test through the Cucumber Runner, right? If you see, we go and we run the Cucumber Test Runner. But let's implement the running the scripts or the Cucumber Runner through the command line argument of the Magen, right? So, for that, what we need to do? So, let's go to the Cucumber Runner first, okay? Where is the Cucumber Runner? Okay, Cucumber Test Runner. So, we have uh, given the feature file location, okay? So, feature file location is there. Uh, glue equals to step definition right and okay everything is there and tags equals to work. perfect so now uh, okay so everything is there so let's uh, create the maven configuration so let's say edit configurations okay so let's go to maven okay and uh, here let's say bdd selenium framework okay maven cmd okay command line argument okay let's say something uh or let's just say maven run okay maven run okay and command what command we're going to give we're going to give the command as a clean and test okay so this is the command line we're going to give and uh working directory is btd selenium framework we don't have to do any profile as of now that is perfectly all right so now we can go and start running it let's see if it is working or not apply and okay and let's run the maven run and let's see if it is working or not okay so some problem encountered while building the effective model okay that is fine so now if you see what happened here okay so it is saying uh, the build is success okay so we said clean and test right so edit configuration and say clean test but our uh, intention was to see the runner right so running uh, the test runner but test runner is not getting picked up here right you see it is just going and downloading some dependencies here downloading and then here if you see right so the messages okay build success but no execution happened okay and there are some problem encounter while building the artifactory model building the effective model okay so we'll do one thing okay so there are a cucumber java duplicate version okay fine okay so let's uh, try to make some changes here so that uh, we can run it from the maven configuration so what are the changes we need to do so first thing is uh, let's uh, move all our features right under source test resources so you can see the features okay let's move it under source test resources okay perfect refactor delete from git don't ask again no, we don't want to delete, right? Okay. Did it come here? Let's first see first. Features, okay. It came, right? Okay. So, okay. Open login page dot feature, user login dot feature. So, the features are moved under the resources. So, now, uh, we have to update it in the runner also. So, source, test, and uh, then you say resources. Okay. Resources. Okay. Resources. Slash features okay resources less features okay this is fine and uh, let's try to run now okay let's see if it is working or not let's run okay. so again the same thing right it is saying the build success what it is not picking up okay and there is some issue with this uh, dependency we can take a look at this okay must be unique what is this io cucumber cucumber uh, java jar okay Cucumber Java jar. Let's go and see. I have got Cucumber, Cucumber Java. Maybe I have added it multiple times. What? Doesn't find it. Okay. Let's see. Master thought I added Cucumber dot Java. I have Cucumber Java 7.15. Sir, I have Cucumber Java 7.15. The same version I have added two times. Huh? Okay, <laughs> fine. Okay, we can do one thing. We can uh, put this. I dot cucumber cucumber Java seven point five. Okay. So let's comment it. Code. Comment with block comment. Okay, fine. I cucumber cucumber Java seven point one five. I cucumber cucumber Java seven point one five. Okay, fine. So now let's try to run and see whether this time it is going to get picked up or not. 
till now looks good okay so now it is say it ran but build success but it didn't even pick that runner right so there is one more thing we need to do okay so why the runner is not getting picked up so we need to rename the runner class and we should end it with something called test okay so what is the cucumber test runner okay so let's refactor it and let's rename okay refactor why the rename option is not coming okay refactor why can't i see this okay i think i need to refresh it once okay let me check cucumber test runner refactor okay so let's see so after refreshing so let's right click and you say refactor rename file okay so instead of cucumber test runner just say cucumber runner test something like this you can say okay cucumber runner test dot java okay so now refactor okay so now if you see cucumber runner test okay so let's go to the maven run and try to run this time and see what happens okay so starting class cucumber test runner is public should be declared in a file name cucumber okay so we have to rename the uh, this one also right cucumber runner test the class name my bad okay fine so now let's see save it and run it in integer it is out of service so let's run it okay this is what i wanted to see see so now it is going to pick up it is going to pick up the runner class okay so running test runner dot cucumber runner test right and now this cucumber runner test is getting picked up and this cucumber runner test knows where exactly the feature file is located right and uh, it will go to those feature file we have as of now we have as of now we have one right and uh, in the runner also we have tags as all and this all tag is applied at the uh, if you see feature level right so all the uh, scenarios that are defined inside this uh, feature are going to get executed right so in maven run you can see this is a maven run this is a snapshot there are test failures okay that is fine so because of this uh this invalid ones right so negative scenario and one because of that it is uh, saying there are test failures okay so maven run you can see here right so what is the failure this is the assertion error right because of that key automation invalid username and invalid password okay so our intention was to uh, invoke the cucumber runner right through the uh, maven command line right so that we are able to do through this one okay so this is how now uh, there are two changes you need to do you have to push all your features inside the source test resources right and one more thing your runner should end with test right cucumber runner test so whatever name you give that should uh, end with the test and then in the maven run configuration you go and say okay clean test okay then it will run so this is one thing okay and uh, if you have remember i have already told you right uh, last time also when we are uh, learning about the tags so every time coming to this section and updating this tag is really impossible right when your code is in the bit bucket or uh, git lab right in the uh, source code uh, repository management source code management system or the remote repository in that time what happens uh, the code is already pushed there right so you cannot go and make the changes right you have to uh, create the jobs out of it right so how will you create those jobs out of it so for that one we can pass the whatever tax you want to run from the command line itself right so let's understand that on how to do that okay so now you see i'm saying tax equals to let's say i'll change it to smoke or something okay let's say i'm changing it to smoke so that means what only the smoke tag is going to get executed so here if you see only one tag is uh, one scenario is with the uh, smoke right pass test data inline so now i'll override it okay override and from the maven command line i'll pass something right so let's see clean test what is the run configuration so edit configuration so you have clean test so after clean test you will say hyphen d okay so hyphen d you have seen right in the uh, tdd style of the development also to pass the uh, parameters so now you say cucumber dot okay let's say filter cucumber dot filter and uh, dot tax okay dot tax equals to and you pass here the tax 
at the rate our tag is let's say regression so i want to run the regression okay but uh, there in the runner i have smoke but i want to run the regression okay so now say apply so just verify this one this one one more time clean test hyphen d right so hyphen d is for here you should give a space okay space hyphen d cucumber dot filter dot tags equals to at the rate regression okay so now let's apply okay and you can run from here okay so my expectation here is so this one should get executed right regression one let's see what is getting invoked here so it's building okay let's see this is for negative invalid data okay okay good so now let's see okay so if you see here there are test uh, failures that is perfectly all right we have we know that so let's see so what happened so which one got picked up here right so if you see here right uh running test runner dot cucumber runner test and at the rate all at the rate regression at the rate positive login scenario okay so these three because if you see at the rate all right so this is at the feature level so this one also displayed here right and then at the rate regression so if you see at the rate regression because we are trying to run this regression right so that particular tag is also picked up and then we have the examples here right examples is also tagged so that tag is also shown here similarly one more we'll see at the rate all at the rate regression at the rate negative scenario login scenario right so if you see at the rate all at the rate uh, regression at the rate negative login scenario which got failed over here right so this is how you can pass the tags from your command line right so for the maven command you can override whatever the tag is defined at your runner level you can override it by passing it from the command line okay so yeah so that's all guys so if you guys are really enjoying these sessions i'll request you to subscribe to my channel q automation classes and stay tuned to the channel for the upcoming videos and uh, please do share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get benefited out of it and uh, if you have any questions or comment or any suggestion or ideas you can ping them or put them in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible so yeah stay tuned to key automation classes for the next sessions thank you everyone bye bye have a good day